Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, Dick and I begin our week-long canoe and deer camp on the Manistee River. We've been planning this trip for a couple months at this point, scouting locations along rivers throughout Michigan. And the time is finally here to pack up our canoes grab our gear and hit the river in search of the elusive Michigan white-tailed deer. Dick really wants to get himself a spiky boy. And the Manistee River seems as good a place as any to get out there and enjoy the best public lands Michigan has to offer and the best time of year to enjoy Michigan. You can get over the dropping temperatures and fickle weather patterns. The fall colors on this river make a late fall paddle more than worth it. And we hear the fishing is pretty good too. As long as you're being safe on these fridges waters. Dick tip, always wear a life jacket on the river, especially when it's cold outside. And with all of our gear and our butts finally in the canoes, it's time to hit the river and maybe find some deer, or at least some deer sign, or at the very least, somewhere to pitch a tent for the night. See all the tracks from the deer coming up the river here too. Deer love the river. Deer love the highway. And a river is just the highway to the lake, eh? Okay. Deer love this river as a safe haven, and eventually we run into some familiar places to camp and decide it's time to get out of the canoes, unpack, set camp, and find somewhere to hunt. Dick tip, use a reflective marker to mark your camp when canoeing on the river. We've brought in enough gear for a week and then some. Pop-up blinds, a tree stand, all the gear we'll need for winter camping and long days hunting on the river or dry land. It's also our first trip trying out the new teepee and wood stove from Lux Hiking Gear. Uh, I hope they'll keep us warm and dry. After camp is set up, it's time to walk up the ridge, hike a couple miles in, and set a pop-up blind. Then we can touch up some scrapes and rubs we found. Be sure to spray them all down with plenty of buck piss and pheromones before we pop up those trail cams and try to hightail it back to camp before the darkness really sets in and we can't find it back to our campsite. Scrape some bark off there. Yeah, but like... What? Oh, hi. Uh, yeah. Between your balls and your belly button.
Dick tip. When processing firewood, make sure you cut it to the appropriate length to fit your stove. And now that we've made it back to camp, it's definitely time to get a fire going, make a warm meal, and you know, try and catch a little sleep before our first opening day of deer season at canoe camp. And that's going to be it for this week, folks. Uh, please remember, if you like it, or even if you didn't, give it the thumbs up. Click subscribe down there somewhere. Then ring that bell so you'll get a notification next week when Dick and I start opening day of Michigan's firearm deer season, canoe camping. Also, we have a drawing winner for our 500 subscriber giveaway for this apron. So congratulations to Bubba Fudpucker. Thank you. Uh, thank you all, everyone, for entering. Bubba, if you can just send an email to miadventurelife at gmail.com if we haven't reached out to you already. Uh, we'll make sure to mail that apron out to you as soon as we can. Uh, thanks, to everybody. We really appreciate getting to 500 subscribers. Really appreciate the support. If you'd like to support us more, leave a comment down there. It gives us a few more views. Uh, also, you can go to the link in our video description to visit our merch shop. Check out that apron or shirts or hats or whatever gear you might want. You can even leave a comment, request other gear. Thanks guys. We really appreciate you watching. It's been MI Adventure Life.